sucks but I figured that today I would do like a Elsa makeup tutorial because I have an Elsa party and Elsa is clearly the character that I played most and so I feel like I've gotten a pretty good grasp on her makeup and I wanted to give you guys a tutorial. Let's get started. So this is the first thing I do the night before a party. I will put these eye masks on from Way K K Bella because I have really like deep set eyes and really like bad eye bags. I can't believe I'm showing this side of myself to the internet. <laughs> I look like a little boy. skincare. So I use the CeraVe Eye Repair Cream and I just put it under my under eyes and just dab it like right here. And I do this every day. You know, this isn't unique to just Elsa, but just because I'm a princess doesn't mean I can be neglecting my skincare. And then I go in with my CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. This is for normal to dry skin. They also have one for normal to oily if you have oily skin. I'm not a morning person, if you can't tell. Now it kind of has to dry. Normally I put sunscreen on. I use this, Sun Bum Face 50, but because I'm gonna be wearing so much makeup today, I feel like makeup also has SPF in it, so I don't really think I need the sunscreen. What next? Maybe this is the wrong time for me to film this because I am probably gonna forget something since it's what today? 7 a.m. Next up that I do is I color correct my face before I put any sort of foundation product on it. And I do this with all of the princesses. So I go in with this LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition concealer in the shade green. And I'm gonna put that on the spots of my face that are the most red. Because I'm a redhead, I have red undertones to my skin. So if you don't, if you have like olive skin or something, you probably don't need to do this. It would also be really helpful in covering up pimples if you have any. All right, and then I have this e.l.f. color correction palette, which I use for the other colors that I need corrected. It has yellow, blue, green, and orange. Um, so I go ahead and use the orange on my under eyes because the thing with color correction is you want it to be the opposite of the color that it is. And so since my under eyes, or everybody's under eyes, are like purple, orange really helps to counteract that. All right, and then I go in with the blue shade to um, lighten up some areas of my face. So I put some in the corners of my lips. I put some in the corners of my nose. My cat is pooping. And then I put some right under my brow bone. The next step is primer. So I'm gonna be going in with this Pore Professional Hydrating Primer from Benefit. And I need to buy the full size version of this because it's really good. But it basically just gives you like a overall smooth, like poreless face. And this one, it really works. They have one that's non-hydrating for if you have dry skin too. And I put this on like my cheek area because that's where I feel like I can see my pores the most. But some people, you know, you can see them more on their T-zone or something. So it's all about like your personal body. Okay, now it's time for foundation, which is really like the money maker of all this. So I have this Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation. And this is a really good foundation for dry skin because it is very hydrating while also being very full coverage. So, but I would only recommend this for dry skin because it does leave you with kind of a glow. And if you have oily skin, you might not want that. It's, you know, it's more your preference. But I will say it does kind of tend to get cakey throughout the day. So I don't wear this on any normal kind of makeup day. I only wear this for parties because it is just so full coverage that I feel like it kind of looks a little bit unnatural. You know, as a cartoon character, it doesn't really matter how natural you look. But for everyday use, I definitely prefer something a little bit less. All right, and then next I have this concealer from Urban Decay. It is Beauty with an Edge, Urban Decay Corrector Water. Oh, All Nighter, 
all-nighter waterproof full coverage concealer. I don't like this that much because I feel like it does crease a little bit under my under eyes. You know, I'm just using it until it's done because I don't want to waste my money. Um, and I did get the shade a little bit too light for me. So that is kind of sad because it kind of makes me look like Donald Trump, I feel like. And then I just pat it in with this beauty blender. And I'm gonna put all products I use for this in the description box. Next, before I do anything else, I always make sure to set my under eyes because this is the part that, for me, I want it to move the least. This product I use is Kat Von D lock it and i got it as a free sample from sephora and don't get me wrong like it is good but i don't know if i would get it again if it wasn't a free sample because it's probably pretty expensive so i just go in with a brush take the setting powder and just pat it in just under my under eyes for now okay i'm wondering if the lighting is better here i think it might be sorry the background is like not interesting this is my bathroom so next product i use this product does not exist anymore so i am so sorry but this is tarte aspen Obard palette and i use this for a blush and highlight as you can see she has gotten a lot of wear throughout the years but i don't think you can get this product anymore otherwise i would recommend it so i go ahead and take like a flat brush like this and I dip it in the blush and I'm just gonna start by putting it up here on my temples on either side. And I always, always say for a Disney princess, you can never have too much blush. And I do especially think that for Elsa because it kind of provides the whole like frozen cold kind of look. Having like a lot of red in your skin. And I smile and I'm gonna take some right under here. Not on the apples, but kind of like I'm still going on the sides of the apples a little bit. And then lastly, to tie in on the blush, I do smile, but I, I don't dip again in the blush. I just smile and then brush like from the apples out. So it kind of blends it in, but I don't put new stuff to put on the apples, if that makes sense. But I am gonna go in and put a little bit more just in the areas I already did it because, you know, the more blush, the merrier. Also, I think it's important to say, I don't typically do contour for princesses because I feel like it's not really needed. I feel like you can establish a contour with blush. And especially with Elsa, like I'm not trying to put like bronzer or anything on her face. If you watch the movie, her cheeks can be very red at times. And I feel like that just makes more sense than having a bronzer. And it's less important to have like a natural, like rosy look for these kinds of things. And it's more important to just go like over the top, I would say. So this is definitely like much more of a dramatic blush look than I would have for everyday use and such. Next is the nose contour. So for that, I use this palette, Sex Bomb Femme Fatale by NYX. And I go in with this color right next to the black because I feel like it's just the perfect color to match my nose. It's not like, it's not completely like a bronzer per se. It's just kind of like my skin tone, but slightly darker. So I go in under the nose like this, like right under the nose. And then I go in like right over the nose, so like right here. I'm trying to create like a button nose look. Elsa definitely has a button nose in the movie and I feel like a lot of the princesses honestly do. And this will get blended out. And so then I go in here and I'm gonna go down like this to make my nose look very thin. We're going thin and bunny. And then you do want to connect it to like the eyebrow and stuff so it looks natural and the line kind of blends a little bit. All right, and then for Elsa, I will also put some blush on my nose because again, it just contributes to that overall like kind of cold look. So I'm just putting them on the tip right here. I feel like Rudolph. <laughs> All right, and then I'm gonna dip my finger in this highlight and just put it right at the top of the nose to finish off like the whole button nose kind of thing. All right, so let me get you a better angle. Okay, this is my face so far. So there's like still stuff I need to blend in. Um, as you can see, the cheeks are pretty dramatic. This is much more dramatic than it will be when the wig is on. You know, all the eyeshadow and stuff is done. And now I'm going to be setting the face before I do the eyes. So I have this Wet n Wild, can't really see it, Wet n Wild Photo Focus, just setting powder in the shade Translucent. And I'm just gonna pat that all around the face. I also feel like the setting powder kind of makes things look less intense as far as like blush goes. Here we go. 
Next, I'm doing eyebrows. So for any of the blonde princesses, like Elsa, Rapunzel, and Cinderella, I use a shade that's lighter than my natural brow. Even though my brow hairs are pretty dark, it doesn't really come across. It's more so like I don't want to darken them any more than they already are. So the first thing I do is I take this brush from Benefit and I just brush out the brows to make sure they have like the shape that I kind of want. And then I'm taking this angled brush and I'm going in with this sex bomb palette again. And I'm just going to outline, fill in the shape that's already there. And I'm not trying to create anything too dramatic. My eyebrows are naturally pretty angular, but Elsa and any Disney princess isn't going to have really like super angular eyebrows. So I'm not trying to be super dramatic with this, just kind of trying to fill in, you know, the brows. So here's the look done with the brows. For most people, this probably would be a little bit dramatic of a brow for Elsa, but again, I do have naturally thick brows. This is kind of like the best I can do. Next. Let's go, let's do the eyeshadow next. So I used to have this Urban Decay eyeshadow primer and I really liked it, but I ran out. I've been meaning to get another one, I just haven't gotten around to it. So I'm gonna try and do that right now. That's normally what I would like to be doing. For many princesses, I like this palette. It is the Makeup Revolution Birds of Paradise. Yes, Forever Flawless Birds of Paradise eyeshadow palette. This is what it looks like. I really like how bright all the colors are for princesses. So I'm just going to start by going in with this light shade, Hot Tropic, and I'm going to put that on my brow bone. Sometimes I give up and end up just doing a finger. This shade is clearly one of my most used ones. Actually, I'm gonna just go ahead and go with my finger with it. Much like the blush, eyeshadow is meant to be super, super dramatic because it all gets washed out with the wet. And I'm probably gonna put more on at the end, but next I'm gonna go in with this shade, Vacay, and I'm just gonna kind of cover my lid in it. And the thing I like about this palette is I feel like the colors are all super pigmented, so you don't have to use that much of it to get your desired effects and I'm gonna worry about blending it in a little bit right now I'm just kind of putting it all on you know sometimes in the movie it also looks like she kind of has a purple eyeshadow but sometimes it looks like she has a pink eyeshadow and most of the merch of Frozen she kind of has a pinky eyeshadow especially Frozen 1 so that's kind of what I go with because a lot of the times the kids will be like look you're on my balloon or you're on my napkin or something and you know you kind of want to match that if you're standing right directly next to it so it's all kind of on my lid and stuff. Now I'm just gonna blend it out so it's a little bit more smooth. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of a smaller brush and I'm gonna go in with this shade, Tail Feather, which is kind of like a purpley pink. And I'm gonna go in the inner corner and kind of spread that a little bit out. I don't know like professional terms. I'm not a professional, obviously. If you guys can't tell. So I don't know like what like this part of the eye is, like in between the brow bone and the whatever, but that is kind of where I'm putting this shadow right now. And then I'm gonna take this shade Adventure. It's kind of a darker purple, and I'm just gonna go in to the inner crease, just to kind of darken that area up a little bit and add a little bit more dimension to the eye. As you can see, so the lids are mostly pink, and then this outer edge is mostly purple, and then right at the brow bone is where I have that light pink color for Elsa. And the look would not be complete without eyeliner and lashes, of course. So this eyeliner is like my everything. It's NYX Epic Wear, and it will truly last you. I've literally worn it like two days straight, gone through the shower, like if I'm not actively trying to take the makeup off, because I just wanted to see how long it would last. That is how long it lasted, so it's really good. It will not wear off for anything. Okay, you don't want the eyeliner to be like a super big wing or anything because that's not parks accurate or movie accurate. But you do want it to be dramatic enough to the point where it's defining the shape of your eye. So as you can see, I have just like a really thin line on there. And I'm going to add not a wing, but like a little bit of corner right there. So I'm going in with this like super, super thin brush to kind of make it a little bit more concentrated. And I'm going to go in with that tail feather color because it's kind of like the transition between both of those purpley shades. 
So I just set it a little bit down here. You can see it better on this side. Um, I'm just kind of starting to play with this sort of putting makeup under the eye look because I used to completely avoid it because my dark circles were so intense. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish the look up with mascara. I use this Maybelline Sky High Mascara because like the eyeliner, it is completely waterproof. I used to do lashes, but I haven't done them in a very long time because I'm having trouble finding ones that stay on the whole time throughout a party because I find most of the time they just kind of are falling off. They're like more of a pain than it's worth. But if you have any eyelash recommendations, let me know in the comments below. Okay, so here we are with the mascara on. I don't love this mascara too. I don't really like the brush on it. So if you guys have a recommendation for mascaras that last all day are completely waterproof, let me know on that as well. And there is a couple of things I forgot about this look actually. So first of all, I forgot about this. Just this white eyeliner. I like to put it in my under eye because it kind of makes me look like an anime. Yeah, it just makes your eyes look much bigger, especially from afar, which is really important with these kinds of things because you want to look really good in the pictures that parents take of you. And then this glitter, can't believe I forgot about that. I love to put glitter right where I would normally have highlight um, because it's just magical. So this glitter is actually from the Lizzie McGuire collection um, on ColourPop. It's called Sing To Me Palo. I just go in with like a little brush and I scoop up a little bit and then I just put it right on the edge. A little bit does go a really long way with this kind of thing and sometimes I feel like you can't really see it inside but when I leave the house and I'm in the sunlight then I can always see it a little bit more. So I put some right on my temple, right where I would normally do highlight. Just a little bit, don't overdo it. And then I take a little bit, the tiniest bit, and put it right under my brow bone. And that also gonna show you guys the lipstick I do for this. Okay, so for my lipstick, I just used this Bebe color. It was literally from like a makeup kit that my mom got me like years ago for Christmas. I do wanna get a new Elsa color, so this isn't like what I'm completely happy with. But other than that, this is like the finished makeup look for Elsa. Sorry the lighting was so bad in my bathroom. I think next time I film a makeup tutorial, I'm gonna do it somewhere with a little bit of better lighting. I will show you some pictures in costume when I get it on momentarily. We also need to take a picture when we get. We do, we do. Um, thank you guys so much for watching my video. Um, please follow me on Instagram. It's now Atlanta Princess Jessica. I changed it to match my company. Um, and my TikTok is Princess Jess18. And please like this video, please subscribe. And please drop a comment on, you know, what kinds of content you want to see in the future. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.